Good evening, Lincoln, and welcome in to another edition of The J-Train, right here on your community-powered, member-supported KZUM 89.3 FM. And I'm very excited this evening. Joining me on the phone line from Houston, Texas, is jazz vocalist and jazz artist Jackie Sutton. Jackie, welcome to The J-Train. Thank you very much. I'm glad to be here. I've never taken the J-Train before, so I wonder where it's going to take me. (laughs) Well, we're happy to have you on board. (laughs) In your uh, biography, you mention the, a phrase that I, I just really liked it. it. It stuck out and kind of applied to my own life, too. Boundary trespass. And yeah. you, you use uh. it when you talk about, uh, you know, your adolescent experience jumping around. But, you know, listening to the CD, your music also speaks to that sort of theme. Uh, I wanted to know, you know, how have the geographic moves influenced the music that you're making today? Oh, you know, that's a really interesting take on that because I had a very different, uh, I was using that expression very differently. When I was talking about boundary trespass, it just meant that I was influenced by a lot of different music styles. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the reality is that I also have jumped all, <laughs> I've traveled, I've, I've lived all over the country. Um, and that just, it, it just refers to, just for whatever reason, I tend to have been tended to have been really open to a lot of different musical styles, and frontier jazz, which you know my kind of quote official definition of frontier jazz is, uh, uh, what ain't jazz, what ain't bluegrass, what's both, plus a bunch of other stuff. So you know it's it's really exploring all of those different styles and working with this amazing group of musicians to create this very whole sound that has a lot of integrity but that you can hear all these different influences with. So we were talking to Jackie Sutton, who has a new CD out, Notes from the Frontier, and I really like the Playhouse-style opera-influenced vocals that appear in this album, and specifically on Lady of the Harbor, uh, which I'll feature later. I think that's a kind of a, a great example of that. I wanted to know how your career in some drama and acting helped to build and solidify your vocal approach for jazz. Oh, you know, that's a really interesting question. Um, yeah, so I did, um, I, I did a lot of musical theater, and the technical foundation for a lot of musical theater singing is classical. So I've been studying classical. That was my starting point, even when I was actually studying, you know, singing jazz way back in the early 80s. I had a classical teacher, um, and it's only been recently that I've kind of gotten away from classical as a foundation, but I use it when I want to, uh, for example, on a song like Lady of the Harbor. And uh, for me, I just don't want to be hemmed in uh, or to have like one interpretation of what jazz can be. So there are some songs that have a much more bluegrass sound to them, some that are straight up jazz. And then a song like Lady of the Harbor, which I have loved as a classical lover for a long time, uh, Lee Hoibi, I just think that that music is just so majestic. And I wanted to be able to use my classical voice, and yet the instrumentation through that song is very jazz-oriented. So it really gave me an opportunity to use some of that higher-end, that classical approach, and have this jazz, kind of like cool jazz sound underneath. To me, 
to the golden door I lift my lap beside the golden door So building on that theme too you know the new CD and once again uh, it's notes from the frontier and Jackie Sutton is my guest on the J train this evening it's uh it's a release that you know evades categorization i think without trying to do it consciously and i could see it when i was listening to it at my at my desk at work it was almost like a soundtrack material from you know true grit or open range just as much as it was a you know a jazz record <laughs> Uh, yeah, you probably, you know, if you hear, listen to a song like, for example, Weary Angel, which is a bluegrass uh, gospel tune, uh, or maybe Hummingbird, which is very, it started off as a bluegrass tune that I interspersed Dave Brubeck with. always on your mind, sweetness you must find, does it get you down? You'll never reach the sky and you cannot touch the ground. Mm -hmm. uh, and some of the others, like, it's just, it, it really, like, the song selection was really based on what I responded to as a singer, as a musician, and then we fleshed it out. And some songs are completely reimagined, like Summertime is completely reimagined. But then a song like what's at the end of the CD, Better Than Anything, I, did, I didn't do hardly anything to it, except that I acted my way through it. I had one, you know, a couple of critics, you know, reviewers uh, talk about the acting that you can kind of hear through the CD, and that's really all of my stage acting that I got to utilize in the CD. And sometimes I could be very classical with it, and sometimes I could just be more playful with it, or just heartfelt, like with a song like Jenny Rebecca. It's a, a, a what would you call it? It's a lullaby uh, to a newborn baby, you know, and you don't need to do anything more to the song than just sing it, you know. Uh, but that's just kind of me. It's just, it's, it's, it's really what I respond to. Well, part of the uh, success of the album, too, part of it comes from the posse, to use the vernacular, that you've <laughs> assembled on here. And I counted at least um, six players on the album cover. But could you talk a little bit just about the um, the band and the musicians that you've employed here? Absolutely. Um, I call them the Frontier Jazz Orchestra. Uh, and yes, yeah, so it's uh, the core group of uh, musicians is six people, and uh, but they make a very big sound. Uh, so I have Henry Dara. Henry was my starting point. Uh, a, a mutual friend of my husband's uh, introduced me to Henry, who referred other musicians to me, and then I found some of the guys on my own. Uh, but Henry knew this group of Houston really amazing jazz and classical musicians, and he said, uh, I said, look, I need a banjoist and somebody who can do jazz. And that's how I ended up with Paul Chester, who plays banjo and several guitars. Um, on my own, I found Anthony Sapp, who is my bass player, uh, and just a shout out to Anthony, he just had his first baby yesterday, a little girl. Ooh. Uh, yeah, he's very excited. Uh, uh, Henry also, uh, introduced me to Elia Janos, who's a percussionist, because he referred me to a previous percussionist who didn't really stick around. And Ilya, I got referred to him through the other percussionist, and Ilya has been with me since day one. Uh, uh, Max Dyer, who is on cello, was also referred to me by Henry. Uh, and then Eddie Lewis, who is an amazing trumpet player, was also a referral. So it's, it all started with Henry, uh, and he plays piano and trombone. So, and he also plays melodeon, which is, uh, it has an, uh, an accordion-like sound, but it's really a keyboard with a tube that you blow into. Uh, so he's multi-talented. He, he's a multi-instrumentalist and, uh, and a wonderful recording artist in his own right. He has his own CD out. 
Um, so it started with these guys. And so for Billy and Dolly, which was my first CD, and Billy and Dolly, it's named that for Billy Holiday and Dolly Parton. And I wanted to introduce this whole style of fusing those two styles together, uh, of the jazz and the bluegrass. Uh, and um, so they've all been with me. This, co- this core group of guys has been with me since the very beginning. And then for my vocals, I have background vocals from my engineer, um, Lyndon Hughes. He's a wonderful uh, uh, sound engineer, recording engineer, and mixer. And he's a wonderful singer as well. So he contributes backup vocals. And then a wonderful um, jazz vocalist based out of New Orleans. Uh, Her name is Cindy Scott, also does background vocals. So that is my Frontier Jazz Orchestra this time around. (laughs) That is an incredible group. Well, I guess the answer or part of the answer to that um, applies to this next question. But Jackie, I'd like to know how... How is the Houston musical terrain? Is that fertile ground for what you're doing? Um, It is fertile ground for creating what I created, and I have to say that it hasn't been a um, a city that uh, it doesn't support jazz too well. Actually, like I'm finding that my audience is elsewhere. For example, Lincoln, Nebraska. Uh, I, I gig here, and I have a really wonderful, dedicated, committed fan base here. But I'm discovering that my audience is quite elsewhere. But I will tell you that Houston is, this this is the only place that I could have created the Frontier Jazz Sound because all of these guys are used to, you know, if they've got a jazz gig, they're doing the jazz gig. If they have a country and western gig, they're doing the country western gig. So when I came to them and said, I'm mixing these sounds up, they were like, cool. You know, there was mm-hmm. no resistance. It wasn't a bunch of jazz musicians that had an attitude or just didn't understand, you know, how this could be mixed up with bluegrass. Every time I tell people who have not been introduced to this sound that I have this sound called frontier jazz and it's jazz and bluegrass, people stop in their tracks and they either, like, their their brow, their their, their forehead kind of crinkles up and they just can't quite get there you know it's like you know one of, one of the reviewers said that um it's kind of curious on paper but it makes total sense when you listen to it mm-hmm. uh and these guys they just got it they they really understood it they trusted me and they were generous uh not to mention super talented but they were really generous with their with their talents and trusted that i because i'm not a i'm not um trained in the sense that I, you know, I don't arrange by writing things out on sheet on a sheet of paper. I do it it's almost like a choreographer who says, I see this dance in my head and I'm going to put this dance on these choreograph this on these different dancers because I know this person can leap high and this person does great pirouettes. I know what these guys can do and I just hear it. And so that's that's how I arrange. And they trust me when I'm going through the workshop process that it's going to have some integrity to it. And after two and a half years, it's like a family now. This is the Frontier Jazz Orchestra. So I've been very grateful. But I I really believe it could only have been done here in Houston. When you mentioned mentioned that word bluegrass, it just, this image popped into my mind because here at KZUM and and at the station, we use um, little pieces of colored tape to signify what genre each CD falls into. And it was like, we're going to cover the entire spine <laughs> with <laughs> notes from the frontier. It's going to be like a rainbow. Oh, that's fantastic. I love that. <laughs> but that's what's what's so good is about this CD, I think, and, and obviously we'll give the listeners a chance to hear it too, is that you merge all these styles, but do it tastefully, and it's not um, sort of contrived or forced, but it, it, it works in a, in a natural way, and I, I like that. Oh, thank you so much. That is a true compliment because that has been the goal is to do it with a lot of integrity and th- and that it won't sound hokey. So uh, you've just made my day <laughs> by saying that. It's really wonderful to hear that in words. Well, thanks, Jackie. And I, I just one last question I wanted to ask. Um, where can the listeners go to get more information about you and the music? Uh, please do go to JackieSutton.com, J A. C-Q-U-I Sutton, S-U-T-T-O-N dot com. Uh, and from there, you can go to my store. You can listen to clips from the new uh, CD. 
and you can hear the entire first CD as streaming audio also on my website. And also on my home page, there is a mailing list link. And if you go there, I promise my, my, my uh, monthly newsletter is spam-free. I control the list. <laughs> Uh, but you can get updates on where we're gigging, um, what's happening, you know. Like, for example, I will let people know about this interview, which has been wonderful, by the way. Thank you so much, Jesse. Um, but they can get all, all things Frontier Jazz. There are, I have music videos. I'm getting ready to plan out my, my music videos from Notes from the Frontier. So, And I also have a little mini documentary on the site um, that called What is Frontier Jazz? Because so many people say, well, what is that? How, do you, you know, how did you come up with that? So it's like a 13-minute mini documentary. So there's a lot of content on my site, and uh, I would love for you to join the mailing list. And if you want me to come to your town, let me know, you know, spread the word. I'd hey, be you'd be, you'd be, you'd, you would be welcome here, and you'd have to come to a live show here at KZUM. Oh, we would love to. We do. I love doing in store. We would come into the studio and we'd play some songs for you. We would <laughs> love to do that. Absolutely. Now, the listeners, you've got the website and you've got a little bit of music, and now you have Jackie Sutton and some insights into her music in her own words. So, thank you so much, Jackie. Thank you. Have a wonderful weekend. I really appreciate you. I've got my heart crammed in a bottle. And all the while I fought so little What is this fear we hold so deeply To stand alone, alone completely It's do.